Hey guys, welcome back to Retro Peace Theater. So, here we are back in the land of Sudeki. Um, let's see here. I had somebody comment about the, um, about the warning that I put at the beginning of the video. Um, and I just want to clarify to everybody that there's not any serious or major language in the game. And there's no outright nudity. Um, there is, however, uh, some scantily clad uh, outfits that your female characters get and have throughout the game. And since this is kind of the first game I've ever played on the channel that has anything like that, I just thought, um, you know, it was the right thing to do to at least make people aware because, you know, this isn't one of those games that, you know, everybody knows about. Um, and the other thing too is I've I've always been very proud uh, about this channel that I've kept it family friendly. You know, you'll never hear me swear on the channel. Um, you know, and I try to avoid you know all controversial topics and things like that. Um, so I just felt like the right thing to do here was to um, you know just let everybody know. So that's all that is. Um, and there's no way I can really avoid any of it if I'm going to play the game. It is what it is. Oh, that was foul. This guy's not hard. He's just got a lot of health. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> and I'm poisoned. <laughs> Poisonous gas. <laughs> what do we have here? Tal of Illumina, I am Tetsu. I speak with the voice of your ancestors. The road ahead is dark and filled with danger, but fear not, son of Sudeki. In your darkest hours you may call on me. My humble servant, Cariston the Wolf, will protect you. Nothing like being blessed by a demigod. Under the light of the moon, a vulture hunt. Come, Terrista! I like how he just exploded into huge chunks of meat. Get up! What happened to the rest of your men, Tal? I... I, uh... I expected more from you. Those soldiers were your responsibility. It's time you learned. And sometimes there are more important people around than you, Tal! Princess Ailish is in New Brightwater. See that she gets back to the castle safely. Now that the Eclorians have been cleared from the area, I hope that you can be trusted to guard a girl. Get out of my sight! Hmm. No mercy. Okay. Looks like we also got an outfit upgrade as well. The environment is simple but beautiful.
have you come to try it? Lay your skin on me. I can't get enough. I officially hate his voice. What a pleasure it is to serve you. Make some decent money selling the stuff. That works for me. I like you can see the ocean in the background. It's, and that it's like actually rendered, you know, for what it is. It's not. Hey, New Brightwater has crazy. a royal guest today. That's right. Princess Ailish of Illumina passed right by here but a few minutes ago. She was arguing with her maid about something or other, so I didn't say hello. Probably smart. Sure. According to village gossip, she will be at Denzi's house. He can't miss it. Straight down the hill, in the center of town, there's a big blue house. Thank you, you giant anthropomorphic rabbit dude. Cool. Let's do some exploration. Yeah, I don't really don't really remember any of this. But like I said, it's been a very, very long time since I played it. Hail, friend. It's good to be safe from the evil creatures that stalk the temple in Shidani Mo. It all started with a few spiders, but things took a turn for the worse. A more sinister foe followed. Insect-like monsters we call the Arcanite. The Temple of Mo is a holy site where we keep secret artifacts such as the Shadani Crystal. It was left in our care by Mo, the great cat at the time of separation. The Temple of Mo. Sweetly! There are many who refuse to leave Shadani Mo. I simply tired of the fighting and left. So we met Buki earlier, who is a Shadani warrior, but I think the Shadani just kind of refer to the anthropomorphic nomads, so the human animal hybrid nomads. You know, Buki's All part right. cat. He was obviously Shadani Mo, but uh, you know, he's a rabbit man person. Who are you? I am Kaluza Ra, the unfortunate partner of Kirklin over there. I guess it's universal. Wives complain about their husbands regardless of species, time, or game. Yes, and the journey was harrowing. There are giant crabs in the wilds that you can only defeat by hitting them from behind. If you don't hit them from the back, then you don't stand a chance. Well, if the temple is not swarming with evil creatures, I might consider it. Hmm. Could this be foreshadowing to a quest? No, more than two NPCs have discussed this, so it must be. Is he a bear or a lion? Or... I don't really mind humans. Even if they do smell of rotten milk. I just prefer living among my own people.
Well, I never wanted to leave Shadani Mo in the first place. And now the cowardly rabbits who drag me here want to stay to enjoy the sea air. <laughs> Alright. Really, I just want to break and stuff and, you know, steal their money and all that. Big blue house in the center of town, but I see a couple blue houses. <laughs> small coastal village once had a history of smuggling, but under the Queen Lucica's rule, the village has prospered, and smuggling is a thing of the past. I should do it in his voice. Since the start of the attacks, the villagers have relied upon the protection of the Luminous Armies. <laughs> That's... I didn't... Yeah, you know, okay, whatever. Yay, save point. The Kamos. Boy, he gets around. I got shots all over the known universe, pal. I got a distinct advantage, see? I got an anthropomorphic navigation stone, which lets me travel through time and space as easy as heading south for the winter. It's supposed to be used for some spiritual mumbo-jumbo, but I saw the potential for making money with it. Well, I guess where there are anthropomorphic ducks, there will be people trying to, uh, you know, make a living. And we're going to get a few more of these, because they're useful. And, uh... We're going to get one of those, because it revives everybody. Gee, thanks. Last of... Kid, God bless the name. Professional blacksmith to the rich and famous. Nobody has consistent accents, so like it's just everybody from all over, which is fine. It's just let's see. I don't have any runes. But I can get my armor enchanted. Apologize. This is very peaceful music. I've also tried to adjust the game to microphone ratio of my voice on this uh, on this episode, because I noticed in the last one there are a few times where I, I had the game volume uh, for recording up too high, and it was uh, we were talking over each other, and couldn't really understand me, um, which may be exactly what you want, but. Um, I, uh, there's something over there. Anyway, um, I tried to adjust it a little better because the way my uh, capture works is it records game audio and my microphone audio simultaneously, so I don't have to match it up later. The downside to that is I'm not doing separate editing. I used to do separate editing. Um, now I just have the capture set up to record everything all at once. Um, but it requires a little bit more tweaking, I guess would be the, the term, uh, per game. So that is the right, you know, audio balance. And now that that boring conversation <laughs> and exposition is done, let's move right along. I have no idea where I'm going, but apparently up here. Yeah, this game rewards you pretty well if you do a little bit of exploration. And money's always useful. And... Hello. I hope you don't mind us staying here. Oh, 
I see. Well, it's nice enough, but not everyone is pleased that we ended up here. Okay. You're nice and all, but I have a game to play. <laughs> Alright. Let's go find the princess. There, there's some characters we recognize. Uh, hello. Is Princess Ailish here? I'm to escort her home. The princess? Oh, good luck. She's in such a contrary mood. She stormed off to the lighthouse almost as soon as we arrived. Let's see. Princess runs off alone to the lighthouse. That doesn't spell trouble at all for anyone. <sighs> I shouldn't complain. This is really rather pleasant. <laughs> Wow, the moon is really close. <laughs> there she is. Um, excuse me, Your Highness. Oh, hello. General Arlo's son, Tao, right? Call me Eilish. Yes, Your Highness. Thank goodness you're safe. I've been sent to escort you home. There was some trouble with the Eclorians near here, and... Let's go, then. I never wanted to come to this dreary little town in the first place. Besides, I promised Elko I'd see his crystal tower light up. You know Elko. Chief Science Officer Elko? Uh, yes, Your Highness. Elko really helped me settle in when I first moved to Illumina. I thought I told you to call me Ailish. Now, let's leave before we become all... provincial. Yes, pr I mean, Ailish. Okay. So she, I believe, has the ability to use some magic. Oh, That's like the sassiest way to open a treasure chest. Just snap my fingers. Too good to touch it with my hands. Actually, her voice really, really annoys me. <laughs> Oh, I just don't want to go back in there. Stop it. Alright, we're going to put him back in front. But I believe some of those sparkling areas we saw around earlier... Okay, 
Let us. Let's head out of town. Let us go. They pretty much make sure you always have some clear view of her outfit. <laughs> and Buki's gonna be the same way. Hence why I put the warning at the front of the game. Try to head back to town. This is exciting. At least, again, at least it's, you know, visually appealing to run through the meadow like this. Actually, we don't need to. We won't trade with him right now. We're fine. I don't want to spend a bunch of unneeded time since I am recording. Um, that's not particularly interesting to most people watching, just to see a guy <laughs> do Ailish, a bunch of mindless stuff. I'm not stuff. sure that when General Arlo asked me to escort you home that he meant only you. What about Yemi? What about her? She'll be fine. I thought you said that your patrol had cleared the area anyway. Ignore the massive vines growing behind now, me yes. that only happens when there's Experience monsters in the area. Experience tells me the Chlorians will be back. Experience? I'm like, sure they will be. How much experience do you concern, have? <laughs> I can look after myself. <laughs> and of course you have the air princess. Better leave the fighting to me. I've heard too many soldiers say that right before they... Stop it, Tal. You sound just like your father. I'm not some ignorant little grunt you've been put in charge of. I might be a weak and feeble woman, but I am also one of the finest magicians in the realm. Really? Okay then, miss. Why don't you show me just what makes you so special that you believe you're above the help of the elite guard? the uh, record I did uh... is it gonna make me come on now use princess. the mouse wheel <laughs> don't be shy that's gonna be annoying to try to do mid combat Come on now, princess. Don't be shy. Am I supposed to hit something in particular? I'm confused. What Come on I now, missing? princess. Don't be shy. Oh, now it a lot. I don't know what I did different, but okay. <laughs> you will burn in the inferno. Hmm. I just didn't know how to activate it, apparently. But good to know that that's a thing. Orb of Vigor. Hmm. And if 
safety. That's kind of cool. She's got some cool abilities. Go ahead and save. So I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here because I'm about right at time. And uh, so we, we've come full circle. We started at this save point. And now we've come back to this save point before I get caught in some big uh, combat scene or something that's going to be a little bit before the next save point. So anyway, uh, thanks for joining me on this episode. I will see you next time on Retro PC. Thanks, guys.